Okay, welcome back. We are reviewing for the chapter four test. And I am starting here on this video on number seven. <clears throat> and now we've moved on to have three variables that are missing. So we have an A, a B, and a C. So the first line, row one, we have A, B, and C missing. The second, we have A and B. And then the third one, we have A in terms of B and C. So I am going to rewrite the third one as A minus B minus C equals zero. So that we can kind of see them all lined up here. <clears throat> So if we eliminate C, we can then use row two here as our row four. So I'm going to just make this our row four. It's an, it's an equation in just two variables. And then I'm going to choose to take the opposite of row three. So a negative of row three, so it'll be a negative A a positive B, a positive C equals zero. And I'm going to add row one and row three together to make row five. So when I do that, it looks like my A's eliminate, which is unique. And then I have two B, my C's eliminate, and I have six. So that uniquely eliminated um, A as well. So I really don't even have to do much further because I can divide by two here and I get B equals three. Now that I know that B equals three, I can go back up here and put that in. I've got A plus three equals 10. So A must equal seven. So I have seven, three. And then if I put A is seven and B is three into row one, let's see here, we've got 10 minus C equals six. So subtracting 10, I've got a negative C equals a negative four. So C must equal a positive four. So seven, three, and four. So letter A is our solution. Let's move on to number eight. So number eight, we have three X plus Y minus three Z equals three. They also gave us <clears throat> X equals Z minus one. I'm going to rewrite it so I've got X minus z equals a negative one. And then we have our third row is 9x plus 6y equals zero. So <clears throat> we have three variables, two variables, two variables, but just not the same two variables. So What we could do is hmm, what we could do is notice row one and row three, the X and Ys are just a multiple of three of each other. So if we were to multiply row one by a negative three, Let's do that. We have a negative 9x minus 3y minus or um, plus 
nine z equals a negative nine. A negative nine x minus three y plus nine. Yeah. And then add that with row three, where we have nine x plus. Oh, it doesn't, they don't totally eliminate, but that's okay. Um That doesn't benefit us. Scrap that. Sometimes you start something and you realize it's not benefiting us. Okay, so row two, we've eliminated Y. Row three, we've eliminated Z. Let's eliminate Z. Let's keep row one the same. And I'm going to multiply row two by three. A negative, a negative three. So I have a negative 3x, a positive, well, that's just 0y, so that doesn't matter. And then um, a positive 3z equals um, 3. A negative 3x, okay, that, and then a positive 3z. So when I add row 1 and row 2, my row four is the X got eliminated. I now have just a Y and my Z got eliminated, which is nice, equals six. If I have that correct. Okay, so that's... That's nice. So now that y equals 6, I could put that into row 3 because 9x plus 6 times 6 equals 0. So 9x equals 0. So 9x equals a negative 36. So x equals a negative 4. So I'm just going to write down here for a minute. So, so far I have negative 4 is x, y is 6, and then we have z is open. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go up to row 2 because x is a negative 4 minus z equals a negative 1. I'm going to add 4 to both sides and take the opposite of z. So z is a negative 3. So c, c is our correct answer there. Let's look at number nine. We have x plus y. And I'm going to put in a zero z plus a zero z equals six, just so I've got a place value for all the letters. Then in row two, we have a zero x minus y plus z equals six. Three. I'm lining them all up here. Then the third row, we have a negative x plus zero y plus z equals five. <clears throat> that way I can better assess what I'm working with. So I'm going to add row one and row two because my y's are already opposite signs. And so I can eliminate y. So I'm going to combine row one and row two to give me row four. Um, and so I had zero X there. So it's just an X. My Y is eliminated. My 
I had a zero Z here, so it's just X plus Z equals nine is what I come up with there. And then my row five is really just my row three. It's negative X plus Z equals five because there was no Y there anyway. Then I can add those to give my row six. So the X's eliminate, I have two Z equals 14. And divided by two, I get Z equals seven. And then I'm gonna put that into row two because row two is Z minus Y equals three. So seven minus Y equals three. If I subtract seven, we get a negative Y equals a negative four. <clears throat> and the opposite of Y is four. Now, these reviews are all multiple choice. So I don't just go by that, but we can narrow it down by that. But I mean, we want to work it out as if we didn't know that. Um, so row three, Um, is Z minus X equals five. And I know Z is seven minus X is five. If I subtract seven from both sides, I get a negative two. So X is a positive two. So my answer is two, four, and seven. So again, another letter C. C is my answer on that one. <clears throat> so we're moving on to number 10. I've got A, B, and C. Row two, I'm going to rewrite so that they're all on the same side of the equation, which means it's A plus B minus C equals zero. And then for this third equation, I'm going to multiply by two. So my fraction eliminates. So I have 2B equals A plus C. If I put them on the same side of the equation, I have a negative A plus 2B minus C equals zero. So that's going to be my third row. A negative A plus 2B minus C equals zero. <clears throat> I really like to have them lined up because it kind of gives me a better picture of what's going on. So um, does everybody agree that I can add row one and row three and eliminate A? Yep. That's going to be my row four. And then I can add row two and row three, and that's going to be my row five to eliminate A. So I'm going to go ahead and do one and three first. So A is eliminated. Oh, it looks like B is eliminated. That worked out. And then I have 17 C equals 510. Awesome. <clears throat> and so if I divide by 17, I think that's 30. Yep. So then let's go ahead and add row two and three. So that means A eliminated, and then we have three B minus two C equals zero. I know that C is 30, so let's go ahead and put that in. So 3B minus 2 times 30 equals 0. So 3B minus 60 equals 0. 3B equals 60. 
So B equals 20. And I'm going to use row two, which is A plus B minus C equals zero. So A, we don't know, plus B is 30 minus, oh no, A, B is 20. Sorry about that. Plus B is 20 minus C is 30 equals zero. So A minus 10 equals zero. So A must be 10. So I have 10, 20, and 30 for question number 10. <clears throat> so that looks like letter A is the solution for number 10. So let's move on to number 11. Okay, <clears throat> y'all know how much I love fractions and decimals. <laughs> so I'm looking at this first row and it looks like I've got at most two decimal places. Oh wait, that's three decimal places here. Well, really it's only two because it's a trailing zero. So if I multiply through by 100 or two decimal places, I will have 15x plus 20y plus 75z z equals 305. Um, and then in the second row, if I multiply by 10, because I only have to go over one decimal place, then I will have 15x plus 30y plus 0z, I'm just going to put a place marker there, equals 105. <clears throat> and then row 3, I'm going to multiply by 2 like I did on the last equation to eliminate that fraction. So I have 2y equals x plus z. I'm going to get them all on the same side. So I'll have a negative x plus 2y minus z equals 0. So the real work begins. So I am going to take the opposite of row two. So I'm gonna keep row one, it's 15x plus 20y plus 75z equals 305. I'm gonna take the opposite of row two so that my x is canceled. That's what I'm gonna eliminate, minus three y, minus 30y, sorry, minus zero z, that's not really affected, and then a negative 105. And that is going to add to make row four. So x eliminates, I have a negative 10y plus 75z equals 200. Then over here, I am going to keep row two the same as it was originally, 15x plus 30z equals, or plus, sorry, 30y plus 0z equals 105. And then I'm going to take 15 times row three. Three. So I'll have a negative 15x plus 30y minus zero uh, minus 15z equals zero. So again, my x is eliminate. This is creating row five. Um, my y's I have 60z.
And my Z's, I have an, I'm sorry, 60 Y. I don't know why I keep calling that Z. 60 Y minus 15 Z equals 105. So I can either, I got to combine row four and row five. So either I can get the Y's to a multiple of 60 or I can get the Z's to a multiple of 75. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to row, multiply row four by six. So six row four, so we can multiply, uh, we're going to eliminate the Y's. So we'll have a negative 60 Y plus 450Z equals 1,200. And then row 5 stays the same. So 60Y minus 15Z equals 105. <clears throat> so the Ys eliminate. I add my Zs and I have 450. 35z equals a thousand ninety five. And then if we divide by four thirty five, see what that comes out to be. Oh, hmm. I think I did something incorrect. When you added 1,200 and 105, it's 1,305. Oh, you're right. It should be a positive. Thank you so much. I'm glad it wasn't something up here. 1,305. So 1305 divided by 435. Oh, woo. Okay. So Z equals three. And now we can put that back into either row four, or row five. I'm going to do row four. So a negative 10 Y plus 75 times three equals 200. So negative 10y plus 225, I think, 150 and 75, yes. and equals 200. If we subtract 225 from both sides, we get a negative 10y equals a negative 20. That doesn't, that's not going to work either. I have something up here incorrupt. So forty five. Hmm. Anybody catch it? So we get a negative 10y equals a negative 25. After some searching, uh, we are correct. So dividing by a negative 10, y is 2.5. Don't worry, this is not going to match the answer key. There's no options that match this, but we are correct. I checked on Desmos, um, and I will share that in a moment. Um, and then we put 2.5 in for Y, 3 in for Z. 
into a negative x plus 2 times y is 2.5 minus z, so minus 3 has to equal 0. So a negative x plus 5 minus 3 equals 0. A negative x plus 2 equals 0. A negative x equals a negative 2, so x equals 2. So our answer is 2, 2.5, and 3. <clears throat> and that's not an option on the multiple choice, but sometimes the book types in incorrect answers. So the true answer is 2, 2.5, and 3. Now, I'm going to share my screen so that you can see the Desmos work. I put in row one, just as they were giving it to us. <clears throat> it asked me to create a slider for Z because we can only graph in X and Y. And then um, the second equation, as it was given to us. And then the third equation, um, I had to put in like this because Desmos won't like it if I, if I do it the way they wrote it to us. So <clears throat> um, we multiplied both sides by two. And so, and then I brought everything to one side. So a negative x plus 2y minus z equals 0. And then when I did my slider, you can see that it, x and y are 2 and 2.5, and then the slider is when z is 3. So that is number 11. So let's go back to our camera. <clears throat> and we are going to complete number 12 together for this part of the video, for this video. So number 12, <clears throat> I am going to multiply through by two to eliminate this fraction here. So when I do that, two times row one, I get an x plus two y minus six z equals 24. I have to multiply through by two. So that's going to be my row one. So x plus 2y minus 6z equals 24. My row two, I'm going to leave it as is for right now. Um, so x plus y minus 24 is 9. So it's really x plus y plus 0z equals 33 when I put that with x, here, x y, and z. Um, <clears throat> and then the third row, I'm going to multiply by 2 to cancel that out. So we have 2y plus 2z equals x. And getting them all on the same side, we have a negative x plus 2y plus 2z equals 0. So a negative x plus 2y plus 2z equals 0. Okay. So we're going to create row 4 and row 5. Row 4 is going to be row 1 and row 3 because my x's naturally add to 0. So I get 4y minus 4z equals 24. <clears throat> and then I'm going to add my row 2 and row 3 for my row 5, because again, my x is naturally cancel. So I have 3y plus 2z equals 33. Then my, um, if I do two times row five, I'll have six y plus four z equals 66. And I can add those to get my row six because um, I can eliminate my z's. So I have 10 y equals 90. 
So y equals nine. So <clears throat> in row two, I don't have any z's and I just have x and y. So I've got x plus y equals 33. So x plus nine equals 33. So subtracting nine, I get x equals 24. So, so far I have 24 and nine. <clears throat> and we're gonna, we've done so many of these, I'm just gonna skip ahead and we can see that that's gonna be letter A, 24, nine, um, and then three. So letter A. So that ends this video. And then touch us back for the next video. We are going to look at the story problems.